Now, as you can see, AJ is going for a comb over. And typically with a comb over, you already know the fringe you want to be longer. And around the crown, you need that area to be, you know, with enough hair, enough length, so the weight of that crown stays down, not up. You don't want any alfalfas. Remember, you know, on the thumbnail, you can see a little, little friend there hanging out and um, you don't want that, you know, for AJ. AJ has been working really hard, guys. Remember, you want to give AJ the best look possible to be looking, you know, at least presentable for his clients. He's a barber, just like me. And so what I'm doing is taking it down just enough to where the fringe area doesn't drop on his face, on his forehead. He's gonna be planning to put a little bit of product, right, AJ? Because you don't want to uh, be showing up to work like this all the time. Right, AJ? Because you know, you don't want the barbers to think less of you and your clients as well. Right, AJ? So we're gonna do you a favor and help you look a little bit more presentable. Okay, AJ? Now, a lot of you might think that AJ's up there in age due to his little grades that he has, but no, boys and girls, he's not. And if you are somebody that struggles with gray hairs, especially around the sides, there's a way for you to look a little bit more youthful. A lot of you might know about this trick. There's something called a fade. So what we're trying to do here is make him look a little bit more youthful. We've already created a ball section for AJ and came back with the shavers. On this particular day, I was using the gold fabulous shavers that uh, I don't use anymore for my fades. I use it for the face. Okay, let's get a little risky, guys, and grab our yellow number five guard. A lot of you might be clipper over comb types, but today we're grabbing and using the guard system for these, uh, well, it's the wall guard system, and I'm using the gammas here. Um, believe it or not, the wall system goes with a lot of clippers, a lot of the, the main clippers that most people use nowadays. And I think that's a cool thing. I don't really like to jump around systems as much as I used to. I've become a creature of habit. I don't know if, you, if that might even be a bad thing, but it works. We're scooping away though. And following up behind that no guard open section is the trimmers. Don't forget, there's gonna be times, especially if you stamp, that you're gonna have to erase that and you do it with the no guard all the way closed. So leading into this ridge, since I already have you here, let's talk a little bit about this ridge. See, AJ doesn't like the ridge to be this high anymore. He feels as if his face seems a little bit more round. Having the fade, the haircut up this high isn't framing his face correctly, he feels. He wants it to be more squared. And you know, your boy did go and take a few classes to improve his game, and this was way later in you know aj's career in the barbershop with me i was able to up my game a little bit and you know bring it back and improve my game but for that particular video i don't even think i recorded all the way so i don't have it no proof we're just gonna have to take my word for it and know that aj's not getting a cut like this anymore he's a little bit different now he's uh he's chosen the the Anoel Doble A route and not the high fade and you know comb over and you know Guido ish look. But then again, it's not the Guido. Do most Guidos have comb overs? No? I don't think so. All right. I want to do this just for this video, just because it's AJ. I want to play something with you guys. This game is going to be called Is This Beard Irish or Italian? I'm going to leave it up to you guys to let him know because he doesn't take it from us if this beard looks Italian or Irish, you know. He's gonna let you know himself in the comments below what he is, but let's just keep it a buck. What do you think? Let's let him know if this beard belongs to an Irish man or an Italian man. Does this give you Conor McGregor vibe or Al Pacino vibe? You let me know. Following up with that, we're gonna continue this freaking fade into the beard, whatever the beard you think it is. And after that, we line it up and continue it, bro. We continue it. Uh, you know, cleaning up the beard, especially under it, and we're gonna get to it, can be a little bit of a pain for some of us, especially if that beard grows in different directions under the chin. Um, I like to line it up a little bit 
and then clean everything under it afterwards so I know where to stop and that's why I line it up. I hope you know what I mean. Um, and this angle is a little blurry. I apologize. I wasn't using the cell phone for this one. I was using the, the Canon M50. If you're using a, a camera that is not a cell phone, just know that the autofocus can be a pain in the neck. Just keep that in mind that you want to lock that image up. And by locking it up, I mean whenever you put your hand in the front of that image, it doesn't blur everything else out. All right, so this mustache situation, we're gonna just clean it up a little bit around the ridge of, uh, of the lips and just a little bit above it. We're not gonna go too pointy of a mustache. Let me get it as nice and symmetrical as possible. And you definitely wanna stay still for this lineup in the front. I think I missed out on a few things, a few shots. I think I did use enhancements. I really don't remember because the more I line up his edge line naturally, I must say it, do, it does look darker. So if I used enhancements, I don't know. It does kind of look like it at the end. Team enhancements stand up and team no enhancements, I guess, sit down. It, no, I'm playing. Now, guys, if you enjoyed watching this quick video of AJ and you want to see a lengthier, detailed version, make sure you click on the link below. I'm going to be talking step by step on the Tomb 45 Academy on how to do a haircut like I did on AJ. Let's part you down. Let's get a natural looking part for AJ guys, but there's no previous outline waiting for us to follow up with. We have to create it ourselves. Remember, you don't want to cut into the lengthy hair. You want to cut into the short hair. That's why I hold the hair back. I normally prefer the hair to, to be wet, so it's easier for the hair to lay down, but if it's not, it's okay. Just, just be careful. After that, just grab you some 245 shave gel. And you know, just a little few taps, like I've always told y'all, because sometimes a few taps is all it takes to clean it up. And just go against the grain and add a little bit of more shave gel to the face. AJ's a little sensitive, so you don't want to dry shave AJ, because as you can see, he's a little bit of light skin. It will show, he will turn red. You don't want AJ to turn red, you want AJ to stay light skinned. So please add a little bit of shave gel to the AJ just so he knows we care. You want to care for AJ. If you don't care for AJ, who will? Now remember, AJ's down with the Hispanics. He likes to keep it tropical, not too arched. Remember, we've talked about the Hispanic, Puerto Rican, Dominican arch. AJ doesn't want that. AJ wants to keep it slightly arched, but politically correct. 